Greetings, family and friends. Today is February 5th. I'm here at Plainfield, Iowa on the Cedar River, about to put in on the Cedar River, assuming I can get out to open water, which I think I might be able to do. My goal is to put in, uh, if I'm able to go upstream, I'll go upstream and then float back down. If not, I'll go downstream and paddle back up. I uh, won't go too far just because I don't know where I'm going to hit uh, ice blocks. But anyway, I try to go paddling every month of the year. Haven't been paddling yet February of 2023, so today is the day. And, and hopefully later on this year I'll be going somewhere else, uh, probably the Maquoketa River with some friends. But um, today I'm going to give it a try here on the Cedar River, see what it's like, and uh, hopefully have a good trip. For those wondering, this is what it looks like today. Sun is shining. We do have a bit of a breeze, but it is winter in Iowa. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what kind of a trip I can I can make out of today. Let's get out on the water. To get started here, I'm having to do a little bit of ski pole, and I got my paddles broke apart, and I'm just trying to push. It's just a little bit too deep for my snow boots and I'm not wanting to put on chest waders just for this little stretch. So I think I'm about deep enough here that I can get started and yes I am. So my January 2023rd trip, paddle trip is underway. And I really don't know if I can get upstream or not. It's interesting how the river path has changed in the last year or so. What used to be a main, a main passageway is now completely bypassed. I'll try to get up this. If not, I'll turn around and float downstream a ways. Yeah, what you're seeing when we look upstream now, that was all. That was all backwater. The people used to ice fish down there. And now, uh, the channel, the river cut a new path, and it's froze. So I'm going to go downstream a ways. I'll just let the current do a little turn around here. I'll float downstream a ways, and then have to come back up. I'm kind of afraid of that. I wanted to go upstream because it's always nice to end the trip just floating instead of having to work against the current, but that's okay. Some paddling is better than no paddling. It's nice and quiet today. Warm day like, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but it's 32 degrees today. We got a gentle breeze. That 32 degrees, that feels almost like summertime after what we've been having. All week it's supposed to be warm. But, fella's got to work too, so, oh no. I'm wondering if I'm going to be blocked in already. I got a phone call, I'm going to have to pull off here somewhere. One phone call done. Let's see if I can get out here now. Uh oh, log. Log and ice. I don't want to get caught out here. Okay. I have cleared that. Get my 
gloves back on. Try to get out there in the open water. The nice thing about paddling on a day like today is um, I didn't put any bug insect repellent on, any bug dope on. Haven't had a single bug bite me all day long. Not only that, I got the river all to myself. Unless, of course, they see some wildlife. I'll gladly take that. Notice how I'm not having to paddle a whole lot, so I need to keep that in mind before I get too far downstream. I will have to paddle back upstream. And I don't know, this might be the extent of it. Again, it looks frozen. In January, I went paddling twice, both times on the Shell Rock River and Shell Rock, and both times I was limited by um, either very shallow water or open water. And I guess early February is going to be the same thing. Maybe by the end of the week I can go a lot farther. But not today. Oh well. Such is life. That's clearly too thick to paddle through to break through. And so I'll work my way back. I was up most of the night during the overnight hours doing EMS work. And I did have a friend let me know that fish are biting if I wanted to go ice fishing, but it was, I got up too late for that. But I don't know, maybe I could still go. Seems kind of interesting or ironic to talk about ice fishing and canoeing on the same day. I guess I'll just keep working my way back up the river. If it stays warm this week, I would guess these places will open up nicely. And maybe, if we're lucky, maybe they'll stay open for the rest of the winter. I have some friends that live not too far from the Makokota River. And quite often, for my February paddling, I paddle with them on the Makokota. That always seems to stay open enough to get this in. 
But I do know February is a busy month for us, so I don't know if I'll get there or not. Hope to. I'm sure glad I didn't drive a long ways. number of years ago when my buddy and I did our New Year's Day paddle, I believe that was our 25th anniversary. The, that was before the channel changed and we could, some people were sliding down their boat ramp in their canoes or kayaks and doing a splash entry and nobody tipped over. But boy did we have a lot of people. 75, 78, something like that for a January 1st paddle. Now this year for our 30, 31st or 32nd, I believe our 31st, we had 50 some. I'm gonna try again, see if I can get up this. Oh no, I know it's goes up there. All right, well, I guess I'm done. I'll work my way, work my way into the shallows and call it quits. Need to be careful here, it's too early in the afternoon to get my boots wet. So I'll have to ski pole back up into the shallow shallow area and then I'll step on that shelf ice and hope that holds. I know that even if that shelf ice breaks, it's so shallow that the worst that happens is I get the tops of my feet wet. I just would rather not. Like right here. This looks nice and shallow. Current's trying to push me out into deeper water though. I don't know if you can see it or not, but shelf ice. There's quite a bit of it. I just don't know if it will hold me though. I'm gonna give it a try. Just dry bags rolled shut, so if something happens, I don't have a mess that way. Could break his paddle pounding on this too hard. So I'm gonna just step out, step gently. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, it's now supporting me. Well, folks, it was short and sweet, but, but how do you know until you get out on the water and give it a try? I can now say that uh, the February 2023 paddle is done. Got that completed. I um, would still like to maybe do another one, a uh, longer one, down on the Makokota River with some friends. 
But um, if that doesn't happen, I at least know that February 2023 is done. Again, it was a short paddle, but uh, it was worth it. And it's always fun to get out after, you know, it's, it's just fun to get out after sitting inside so much during the winter. So if you're still sticking with me on this, uh, this little outing, I thank you for watching.